Uh, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 28. Prepare against her the nations with the kings of the Medes, the captains thereof, and all the rulers thereof, and all the land of his dominion. Verse 29. And the land shall tremble and sorrow, for every purpose of the Lord shall be performed against Babylon to make the Babylon, to make of Babylon a desolation without inhabitant. Hey, verse 30. The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holds. Their might has failed. They become as women. They have burned her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. God, man. So when the Russians are stirred up, of course, I, I say, uh, Isaiah 13, all right, and they start launching them ICBMs, man. You, a lot of you um, military officers, you American militaries, y'all gonna be running scared, man. The right. Russians are gonna fuck you American militaries up, man. That's right. All right. Vladimir Putin, okay? The Iranians, because it said, hey, let's go back. It said, prepare, back to Isaiah 51, verse 28. Prepare against her the nations with the kings of the Medes. Who are those nations? Iran, all right? North Korea, okay? China, the red, all right? Europe, because Europe is so fucking divided, they're gonna end up saying, fuck America, man. Let's start lobbing um, nukes on America, too. Right. So you American uh, uh, military, you, you high uh, officers, man, y'all gonna be running like little hoes, man. That's right. All right, you're not gonna wanna fight. You, you, all y'all are effeminate anyway. Y'all bunch of bitches anyway. Y'all out faggots in your military, man. Y'all ain't built for the Russians. You're not built for the Russians, man. Right. 17 nations versus one, God. man. God. Yeah. That, that's, that's overkill. You, if, it, if it's you, I don't care if you Bruce Lee. God. One person, 17 people jumping, you, you're not gonna make it. God. That's right. What? Yeah. Uh, it's Jeremiah 50. I start verse 22. A sign of battle was in the land and of great destruction. How was the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? God, man, it says a sign of battle is in the land, man, and of great destruction, man. And that's obviously the times that we're in right now, man, because you always hear news about World War III, okay? More, more so than you ever heard it, ever, man, okay? If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, um, there, there was actually a study done that um, uh, World War III it's one of the most Google things on the internet. Like, okay? yeah. Especially after that whole Syrian conflict, man. All right, when when uh, when Trump uh, launched Tomahawk missiles on, on Syria, man. Okay, so this is not far-fetched what we're talking about, man. But guess what? The reason why it's not far-fetched and the reason why it's happening in these last days is because it was already prophesied by the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. Okay? Right you can start back, back, where you, uh, back where you started. It's Jeremiah 50 and 22. A sign of battles in the land and of great destruction. How was the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? Oh, man, how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken, man? And what's the hammer of the whole earth, man? The hammer of the whole earth is America, man. Okay, because it's American military that goes around the world fucking oppressing people, man. Okay, subjugating people. That's America that's doing that, man. It, that wasn't uh, that wasn't ancient Babylon. Ancient Babylon didn't go around the world using their military to put all these other nations under them, man. It's America that does that, it's, especially uh, with NATO, man. Okay, Amer it's the American military that's used to uh, to to help solidify and consolidate the uh, NATO's hegemony upon the planet Earth, man. Especially with that dollar bill, man. Okay. And it says, how is the hammer of the whole earth cut and sundered and broken in pieces, man? That's right. Okay? So America's military and America in general is going to be destroyed in these last days, man. That's right. Go ahead, man. How was Babylon become a desolation among the nations? I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon. Come on, man. The Lord laid the snare for you, for you man. You have an, all, your, all, all your military bases all over the world. That's a snare unto you, man. Because when the Lord sends these other militaries to America to, to lay this place waste, all right, and send their missiles there, you ain't going to have no defense, man. Okay? You got a question, bro? So, uh, I wrote down my question. It's kind of long. Uh, okay, so what you Hebrew, Hebrew Israelites are saying is that if God cares more about my race and bloodline than my heart, I mean, I know the Edomites are like, you know, you, you say that the Edomites, Edomites are going to be enslaved and all that. 
And, you know, it says according to Ephesians uh, 3.6 that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Okay. Okay, but isn't it isn't saying, like, that the Edomites, the white people, basically, are going to be enslaved or not partakers of that? I mean, that goes completely against what I just read, according to Ephesians 3.6. Well, I got it. Yeah, what you need to understand is who the, the Gentiles in the New, New Testament are, okay? Because the misunderstanding... Your misunderstanding lies in the fact that you think that the Gentiles in the New Testament is any other nation that believes in Jesus Christ, and that's not the case, okay? The Gentiles in the New Testament are Israelites who were scattered amongst the Gentiles and became Gentiles, okay? And they came to the knowledge of Jesus Christ, and therefore they could be saved along with the Jews who already knew their heritage, okay? Do you, do you have a precept? Bring it out. This Acts 2 and 5, mm -hmm. and they were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews. Devout men out of every nation under heaven. Come, man. So, so it says that they were dwelling in Jerusalem, Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. So that goes into the scattering of Israel, man. Okay, so when Israel was amongst these other nations, they were scattered and they lost their heritage. They discontinued from their heritage pursuing the Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah, man. All right, they lost their, their nationality, their culture, and they took upon the culture of the heathen nations that they were scattered amongst, okay? All right, and therefore they became Gentiles. You have something, bro? Yeah, quick precept. Right, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 11. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past... Con, in time past, in time past, okay? Keep that in mind. Go ahead. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past, mm -hmm. Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision mm -hmm. by that which is called the circumcision, in the flesh made by hands. Plain, man. So it says, in time past, you were called Gentiles, man. So if in time past, the Ephesians that Paul's, Paul was talking to were Gentiles, then what are they now, man? Because the opposite of a Gentile is the Israelite, man. Gone. Okay? All right, and they were called uncircumcision by that which is called circumcision made with hands, man. All right, so these were Israelites who lost their heritage, and they were called the uncircumcision. They were called Gentiles, but that's not who they truly were. They that's were right. actually Israelites, okay? Yeah, God. Verse 12. That at that time ye were without Yahawashai, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. The commonwealth of Israel, man. So they had not heard of the commonwealth, the promises that were made unto the children of Israel specifically. Okay, Romans chapter 9, all right, verse 1 through 5. Those promises in that commonwealth, commonwealth was made specifically to the nation of Israel, man. All right, so they had not heard it. The Gentiles, which were Israelites, they had not heard of it because they were scattered among the nations and they didn't know that these promises were for them. Okay, you can, you can uh, hold that right there. Okay, you have some no, This is 1 Corinthians 12 and 1. It says, Now concerning spiritual gift, gifts, brethren, I would, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles were. carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. All right, man. So it says that ye were Gentiles carried about unto these dumb, dumb idols where, wherein we were led. Now, I believe there's a scripture in, in uh, Corinthians where it says, um, where it said, all our fathers passed through the sea. Okay? All right? And, and we're baptized in the cloud unto Moses. And mind you, he said these to these people who, that he called Gentiles and brethren, man. So obviously these Gentiles were Israelites, man. They were descendants of the same people that Moses brought through the Red Sea, man. And he called them brethren, man. And Paul said that his brethren, according to the flesh, were Israelites. Somebody get that in Romans chapter 9, man. This is Romans. This is Romans chapter 9. Let me get straight to the point. Yeah, go ahead. Alright, this is Romans chapter 9. I'll start at 3. It says, For I could wish that myself were accursed from Yahweh Shai for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Okay, Paul's brethren and kinsmen according to the flesh. So Paul's about to tell you who they are, man. Okay. A bloodline, go ahead. Verse 4, who are Israelites. Who are Israelites, okay? The Lord, Paul said that his brethren, according to the flesh, are Israelites, okay? Go ahead, Art. To whom pertaineth the adoption. To whom pertaineth the adoption, okay? So being accounted as sons of the Most High, the Israel of God, all right? That is pertained to Israel only, man. The Edomites are the, are the race that we call the so-called white man, okay? That's right. The Caucasian. They are the Edomites, man. They are the descendants of Edom, Jacob's older brother. There is no Edomite that can believe, man. Okay? 
Eat them. Eat them. Eat them. No, they. It's not. in their blood. It's in their nature. Yes, it's. No, they cannot. They cannot repent. Where's that in Hebrews, man? Bring it out. Bring this it is out. Hebrews bro. chapter 12, verse 16. Yep. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, mm -hmm. who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know that afterward, so like, for ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So there's not a single Edomite? That, that, that there's no place there's no place of repentance for Esau. It says no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So Esau could come up and cry and say, "I believe in Jesus Christ," and he could cry you a fucking river. Does that mean that he's gonna that he's so gonna have I'm, a place of so repentance? I'm profane and a fornicator, but I'm a Israelite. I'm still gonna be saved than an Edomite who is not profane or no, fornicator. Two thirds of Israel, okay, the wicked of Israel, they're gonna die, man. Okay, but those out of Israel who repent, they're the ones who are going to be delivered, man. Okay, but the wicked of our people, they shall die by the sword, man. That's right. I had a precept. So, so we shouldn't preach the gospel to all nations like Jesus said. The gospel is for Israel, okay? That's who the gospel is for. I can say something now? We just read in Acts 2, we just read in Acts 2 that... There was um, Jews, devout men under all under all nations. What man? about the Roman that, centurion? That, that's who that's who all nations talk about. What about man? the Roman centurion who who had more faith than all of Israel and Jesus? He was an Israelite. Israelite. That Roman was an Israelite. Yes, yes. you had you had Israelites that were part of the Roman army, bro. Yes. Yes. Yeah, all called himself a Roman at one point. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I've even got I've even got uh, some uh, information in my bag. It tells you uh, yeah. in a, in a uh, book I can't remember the name of it. But one out of every uh, ten people in the Roman army were Jews, man. Yeah. So that lets you know they were predominantly in the uh, uh, in the infrastructure of the society, man. That's right. So they had they had Romans uh, ruling, just like uh, 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 Cornelius, man. You yeah. know, that were within the uh, Roman army, just like now. Yeah, you got right. Jakes that are police officers. Right. You got Jakes that are judges. Jake, uh, what's his name? Uh, Judge Joe Brown. Right. Mm -hmm. So so if you were to take this time and go thousands of years later. And you say that, yeah, he was uh, 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 this person, or uh, Shaquan, all right, let's say uh, Nishan or whatever, he was in the military. Are you just going to assume that he was an a, a Edomite, a so-called white person, because it says he was in the military? No, man. All right, you had Israelites that were in the military, man. That's right. You know, just like then, it's simple. And, it's and the, Ro the Romans, man, ways to them ruling was they told all the nations that they conquered, hey, Take your soldiers and join and join under my uh, auxiliary, man. Yep. That's that was how the Romans came became so powerful, man. They're like, hey, you can worship your God at your own altar, like they do here, but you know what? Make sure your men fight in our military, man. And we gotta go against these other uh, nations that don't wanna go under our subjection, God, right? God, God. That's all throughout the Maccabees. Yeah. The, 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 the Greeks. The Greeks stuff, did it too. They were coming to the Maccabees saying, "Come fight with us." Yeah. God. I, got I mean, that's 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 throughout, like. The history of empires, right. period, man. Like the Egyptians did the same thing, man. Okay, they had they had uh, Nubians and and Libyans in their armies, man. Okay, you had the Babylonians, the same thing. All right, they had they had various other nations in their armies, man. Okay, the, the Persians and the Medes. They had Persians and Medes in their army, man. And they added Syrians into their army. It's plain, man. You just gotta know the fucking history, man. That's all you gotta know, man. Hey, uh, I will say. When, when 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 Esau first started colonizing over here, that, that civil war, who did he go get to, to join that army? Jake, man. It's Glory. Like, the movie Glory. Come on. Oh, show yeah. yeah. Glory. 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 Ramon, Ramon, you, you said that you had something? Uh, we can drop that. But I do got this, though. Right. This is from um, BBC um, on, the, on their website. Who was in the Roman army? I have that. <laughs> <laughs> Only yeah. men could be in the Roman army. No woman. Every Roman soldier was a Roman citizen. He had to be at least 20 years old. He was not supposed to get married while he was a soldier. Uh, most soldiers in the Roman Empire came from countries outside Italy. That's right. right. There was Roman soldiers from Africa, France, Germany, the Balkans, Spain, and the Middle East. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Uh, Boom. Man. I got a quick that's that's the Con, and that, that's how. That's why it was so. That's why it was so easy for the Romans to surround Jerusalem in 70 AD, man, because they had armies from all around, all the surrounding regions. 
I mean, it's it's plain, man. You just gotta you just gotta study to show thyself approved, man. That's right. right. Shoot, if I could just bring this out real quick, this is in a book called "The Jews Among the Greeks and Romans" by Margaret uh, H. Williams, just to prove that point. That you know, statistical data that lets you know that we were all throughout the Roman army, man. So since right. if you don't believe what we're saying, man, even a so-called white man is telling you, since that's your God, you know. Right. But anyway, so like you. So this is on page 13. All right, this is uh, it says statistical information about diasporan Jews. I'm gonna get straight to the point. It says. Uh, it says, uh, ancient writers, Jewish and Gentile, you know, it says, uh, make much of the numerousness of the Jews of the Greco-Roman world. Modern writers tend to be more specific. Figures like six, seven, and eight million have been proposed, talking about within the Roman army. It says, Baron has even gone so far as to assert that the Roman Empire as a whole, one person in ten was Jewish, and its eastern half, one in five. So man. even in certain areas, man, Jake was dominating the Roman Empire, man. You know, they don't and that just it. makes sense because if you if you have an army, you want the best people to be within that army. Just yeah. like now, you got what they recruit. If you watch uh, uh, different commercials, you so know, going into uh, the army or going into the navy or whatnot, they always show Jake in the commercial, man. Right. Because what they're trying to get our people to be in the army because we're the most uh, uh, athletic, you know, most physically fit, you know. And there, so on and so forth, man. That's right. God, man, it says in the east, one in five, right? Yeah, one in five in the east. In the east, which means Palestine, okay, Asia Minor, yeah. on east, yeah, one in right. five, man. So 25% of the military, okay, that, that was from other surrounding nations, man. All right, which means that most likely, I mean, it's all, it's obvious that that man was an Israelite if he had faith, man. The, right. the scriptures say right. those who have faith in the Most High's promises pursuing the Romans chapter 5 are Abraham and his seed, man. That's right. Read man. a fucking book, you got, you fucking, like, damn, man. Well, that would negate the whole, the whole uh, scriptures. That would negate the whole purpose of Yahweh's son. Right. Because Acts 5 and 31, it says that uh, uh, Yahweh uh, uh, sent forth his son, Yahweh's son, to be a prince and a savior unto Israel. Yes, right. So if you throw one Edomite in there, that would mean that, oh, he didn't come for uh, just Israel, man. Right. He came for everybody. Right. And that right. would uh, negate his whole purpose for coming, man. And it would con contradict the rest of the scriptures, oh, man. Kind of and the Bible right. doesn't contradict itself. That's right, right. man. That's funny. Yeah. I got a good uh, uh, scripture just on Edom, right? This is uh, Jeremiah 49 and 17. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that go up by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. Verse 18. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. Mm -hmm. So there, there you, that's plain that Edom can't be saved, man. He's about to be destroyed, man, like Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. How do you explain that scripture, man? And I mean, yeah. when you read Romans 9, like, yeah. after reading Romans 9, where do you get the idea that an Edomite can get saved, bro? Here? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, 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 you, you got to be taking some serious laxatives and just putting your hand right on your oh, ass. Just waiting for the shit to go. Like, yeah. That shit, come on, he man. To his like, what God damn, doing? bro. Like it says, they're vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, man. Fitted, meaning I made you, so I, I made you, and I hate you, and I made you. And because I hate you, you will be destroyed. That's right. That's what that means, man. That's right. So if Edomites are vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, where the hell do you insert them into the mercy and grace of the Heavenly Father through your Shai, man? That's right. That's right. Where? Can I say something now? Everybody, everybody always want the blessing, but nobody never want the curses, man. Yeah. Everybody want the blessing, everybody want the kingdom, no but pictures. nobody want the no curses of Israel, Goofy. man. I don't understand that shit, man. Right. I, got, I got a quick precept for you. Right, it's <laughs> Acts 13 and 26. Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you fear of God, to you is the word of this salvation sent. Cop. What? Men and brethren of who? What? Men and brethren... Children of the stock of Abraham. What? Children of the stock of Abraham. Excuse me, sir. Children of the stock of Abraham. Pardon me? Children of the stock of Abraham. Could you repeat that again slowly? Children of the stock of Abraham. And whosoever among you fear of God, to you is the word of this salvation sin. What? Damn. 
and, and, and there weren't, there weren't, just, just to be sure, just to make sure, there weren't any Ishmaelites or Moabites or Edomites in that congregation when he said that, right? There was, it was just Israel, right? I don't think so. Okay, just. Uh, <laughs> when you look at the word stop. Yeah, I got it. I, you got it. Oh, you got uh, it. I was gonna read it out off the blue, blue letter. Uh, <laughs> that's the spirit. Uh, this is the uh, the Greek word. It's genos. That's where you get gene. Kindred, offspring, offspring, family, stock, tribe, nation, nationality, or descendant from a particular people. And who's that particular people, man? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. That's right. You you asked the remark. This is for the specific purpose of you know. Hey, I'll just bring it out. This is Psalms 50 and 16. For unto the wicked, say, uh, the Most High said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or what, or or so like, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Because that bitch didn't understand what the what the hell the Bible was saying, man. Or that whatever the thing was, man. Whatever that was. Yeah, yeah, what that was. <laughs> Confusion. Really they understand what the. <laughs> they understand. Nothing. I don't know what to call that. I was like. Are you a man? Are you, are you a man, man or a woman? Are you taking estrogen? Are you trying to be a, a fucking woman? Confusion, this shit was man. confusion. That's why it's bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it says to the wicked, the most I say is what hast thou to do to declare my statutes and to take my covenant in thy mouth. Yeah. All right, and who are the wicked? The wicked are the Edomites, man. The border of wickedness to whom uh, the Lord hath indignation forever, man. Y'all the wicked, man. Okay? You guys are the wicked. Accept it, man. Okay? Just accept, just accept it, man. Okay? This is true. This is true. You know? Alright, so the Lord said that you ain't got no business to take his statutes and his covenant in thy mouth, man. So y'all don't have no part of the new covenant, man. Y'all don't have no part in the new covenant, man. This is not for you. Like, how many times do we have to break this down, man? But we love doing it anyway, just, you know, to watch, to watch you tap dance, you know. You know, cut you niggas up like it's fun. You know, so keep keep coming, keep coming. Man. Do the jiggle boy. This is fun. <laughs> Go ahead and bring it out. This is Job 14 and 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. So Esau was made to be the wicked, man, and Jacob was made to be righteous. So Esau, he can't come into the, he can't come out, come out under the covenant, man. That's right. He gonna be destroyed, man. That's right. Con, man. Con. This is Zonovan Compact Dictionary Bible. You know, brothers are familiar with it for the sake of edification for the camera. We didn't Bring write it, it out. For real. Right. You know? It's um, Edom. It's for the definition of Edom. Edom figures prominently in the prophetic scriptures as the scene of great future judgments. See notably Isaiah 30, chapter 34, verse 5, uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 63, verse 1. In Isaiah 63, it's talking about the day of the Lord's vengeance in which he shall come upon Edom. She is the only neighbor of the Israelites who was not given any promise of mercy from God. So it, there is no repentance for, um, or even mercy for Edom. Even after the thousand years of slavery that Esau got to go through, they're going to be destroyed. That's right. That's right, man. And any, of you, and any of you people out there teaching that Esau could be saved and make it and grafted in, fuck, first of all, fuck you. And second of all, you're going to be destroyed by the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. The most I'm not dealing with you, man, if you're teaching that bullshit, man. So, go ahead. Just to show that Esau, Esau ain't gonna make it to the kingdom, and he can't even keep the word of the Lord. First of all, we all know the, the commandments is given to uh, Israel, man. But this second Ezra 3 and 36, thou shalt find that Israel by name has kept thy precept, but not the heathen. So only Israel, only Israel can keep the word of the Lord, man. Because the word of the Lord was only given to Israel, man. God, that's right, man. They the son, we're the sons of the living power, man. Like, it, it pertains unto us the adoption and the glory and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises, okay? Like, it's plain, man. Unto, the, unto us, we're committed the oracles of the Most High, man. Not you fucking heathens, man. You don't have any part in this, man. That's why the first covenant was, was with Israel by the sprinkling of blood. The second covenant is going to be with Israel by the, by the sprinkling of blood, man. Like, it's plain, bro. That's right. It doesn't say, it doesn't include you fucking heathens, man. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, bro. God, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Mm -hmm. He showed this word unto Jacob. Mm -hmm. 
his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Verse 20, he hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Yeah, man, praise the Lord that we know the, the judgments of the Lord, all right? And we know we know that the law and the statutes were given to Jacob, man. That's right. Okay? That's right. Who, who got his name changed to Israel, all right? Prince of the power. It's really simple, man. Right. You heathens have no business touching this Bible. You heathens have no business teaching this Bible. And you heathens just, just get ready to go into slavery, man. Just live it up, man. Do right. you the coke line, especially so-called white people. Get high. Do the heroin. Y'all doing it, but keep doing it. All right? Wait till you get your judgment, man.